Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, let's jam in your calls quickly. I appreciate you holding. Gray Lady, not the old name of the New York Times. Laura, Matthew, we'll get to all of you. Gray Lady, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, sweetie. Hi, how you doing? Go ahead. Hi, yes, oh, you are. I am. Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, uh, I had a few uh, comments to make, and at the end, I wanted to let you know, I have a solution how we can take back America. But first, I'd like to comment on the police. Uh, a lot of police, they come on and say, oh, we're good cops. You know, I'm a good cop. To me, there is no good cop and if, allow, if they're going to allow there to be bad cops. Twenty years ago, I stood up to the police. I got shoved all around. Thank God they weren't shooting us then. But I stood up to the police. A uh, uh, top cop in my area was on the force for years and years and years. And he used to confiscate drugs for his own use so he could pick up girls in bars. He was involved in counterfeiting. He was involved in the counterfeiting ring. He was involved in dog fighting. He was involved in all kind of illegal activities. And he tried to stop me from um, working for a humane officer to confiscate a dog that they had been watching. No, I know. I mean, it's well known in criminology. The police like to act like it doesn't exist. But Serpico said everyone else in the narcotics department was on the take. And then it came out in court later that was true. Everyone else but him, it's the peer pressure. Even if they're not corrupt, they get forced into turning a blind eye or you get shot in the face. It's either a department's corrupt or it's not corrupt is what I found. You either, you either get totally corrupt or they're not corrupt at all. I mean, there'll be some corruption, but it's, it's, it's low level. And it just that's how cultures work. And, and I hear you and I appreciate your call. Uh, Laura in Florida wants to talk about police as well. Go ahead, Laura. Um, hi, Alex. Hey. I, um, I, you know, the whole lady just said she had the answer. I, I think I've got the real answer for the whole world. Um, one of the problems, and first, thank you to, to you and to all the people that, that, uh, you know, the intellects out there trying to get the information out so people can learn. And as you know, there's like bad information out there too. So ultimately, from what I can tell, it comes down to language. David Wynn Miller, he says, that um, there's, he admits there, that there's a corruption. He talks about, you know, making these no contracts and stuff like that. Well, if you apply the same thing to our language and you find that we've missed like two-thirds of it, now we, we've lost that much. Oh, yeah, they're destroying the language, just like 1984 talks about with Ingsoc. By the way, just breaking an underground fire at a nuclear storage facility in New Mexico. The AP is reporting no video yet. We'll obviously be covering that on the nightly news tonight at 7 o'clock. Ma'am, I'm going to jump. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, there it is, AP. Fire prompts evacuation of nuclear repository. I was just saying those are safer than at the nuclear plants. Emergency crews are battling a fire in a federal government's underground nuclear waste repository in southeastern New Mexico. Officials say a truck hauling salt caught fire about 11 a.m. Wednesday at the waste uh, uh, isolation pilot plant near Carlsbad, New Mexico. According to a press release and a spokesman, the answer to the emergency line, all employees have been evacuated and the radioactive waste has been, has, and, and none of the radioactive waste has been impacted. You don't know if any of that's true. It's probably true, but it might not be. That's the problem. You can't believe known liars. Uh, Cardwell, or Cardell in Texas. Uh, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, how you, how you doing, Alex? Good. Thanks for calling. Got one minute. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, real quick. I uh, enjoy the show. I just had a... Uh question, though. I, uh, I'm a truck driver, and I got a message on my uh, DOT box that they usually give us, and uh, they were saying that uh, New York uh, New York has a uh, I'm going to pull that up. Because New York has a uh, emergency. I declared a state of an emergency for all of New York, and uh, I-84 in New York is 
now closed to all commercial vehicles, passenger vehicles, and uh, yeah, that's I'm because still- of the global warming, the incredible cold. Uh, absolutely. So, how are you going to get your rig up there, man? I wish I could hear more. We got to end it here. Call me back tomorrow. I apologize, to the callers. God bless you all. Nightly news tonight, seven. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be. All think of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Live fluoride.